Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Talk Virgin to Me. I wanted to do this episode to kind of almost like a getting to know you. So if you know that musical, uh, The King and I, there's a song called Getting to Know You, Getting to Know All About You. So I figured that um, we would talk about me and what it's like to be a TA and or travel agent, I should say, and um, what it's like to work with a travel agent. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I think I mentioned this before that my name is Samantha and that I own Fabulous Adventures Travel Company. Um, we have been in business now for a little over six years um, and uh, I did not start out in the travel business. Um, I actually started out as a performer. Uh, my goal as a child, my you know, dream, I should say, not goal. My dream was to be a star. I wanted to be, uh, you know, a celebrity in, in uh, Hollywood. But honestly, musical theater has been my thing for years. So uh, I went and uh, went to high or college for theater. And my mom and dad, or I should say my mom, sent me over to California. And I was like, why are you sending me to California? I want to go to New York because that's where people that, you know, want to perform in musical theater go. She's like, nope, you're going to California. You're going to go live there with your grandparents. You're going to go to a two-year college. That's where you're going, right? So I was like, oh, my God. So she sends me there. I'm annoyed because I'm like, what the heck am I going to the school for? And um, strangely enough, there was a show, a um, um, Broadway national tour of West Side Story that came through and it was looking you know was having holding auditions and so I was like I'm gonna go audition because I had just finished playing Maria in high school like the year before so I thought to myself I'm gonna go audition for the national tour of West Side Story and um I actually had this weird strange feeling that I was going to get it um and I went to the dance call because that was the first thing that I could do or the only thing that I could do. I went to the dance call and they cut me. So I was like uber bummed. I got home and I was like, you got to be kidding me. How could they cut me? Like I knew it. I was going to be in the show. What the heck, man? And um, the phone rings like literally an hour after I got home and I'm crying in my bed devastated that they cut me, which by the way, I've never cried in my bed over being cut over anything because I'm used to people telling me no because that's what happens in theater is that you get told no all the time. So uh, that one I was actually really upset about. My phone rings, pick it up, and I was like, hey, and they're like, Samantha, we'd like you to come in and audition for Maria. And I was like, no way. So uh, I went and auditioned, and lo and behold, months later, after they did a ton more auditions, they called me and actually offered me the role. So I toured the country um, playing the lead role in West Side Story, which was absolutely amazing. Met some of my good friends and are still friends with, um, and that started my professional career in musical theater. So from there, I performed at Tokyo Disneyland, um, a few characters that you might know, uh, and I also performed West Side Story over in Europe, all through Europe. It was so much fun. Um, I did Evita in Taiwan, which was amazing. So, and I also did Saturday Night Fever in Vegas, which was absolutely amazing. That one was super fun to do Saturday Night Fever. I love that show. Um, and to have, do it in Vegas. Well, whilst I was in Tokyo Disney, I met that man I live with that I affectionately call the hubs. Um, and, uh, we fell in love and got married. And so once that happened, I decided, well, maybe I should hang up my, um, my performance hat and try something else. Well, I basically tried being a mom. I'm, I'm, I think I'm kind of good at it. <laughs> Sometimes I like to say I'm not winning any parent of the year awards because I'm never home and I'm always on a cruise ship. So thankfully, uh, the family still loves me, although it is yet to be determined if I uh, don't get served papers under the Christmas tree. But I keep saying that this year. I doubt that's going to happen. It's just a joke. No one's divorcing anybody. I hope. Um, but yes, I'm definitely not home a lot. But anyways, um, I we had one kid. Uh, I call her the kid. That's what her uh, social media name is. And um, I stopped performing, but I did end up teaching dance and whatnot. So I stayed in the performance world. I performed um, locally. So I did uh, Music Man. I played uh, Mary and the Librarian. I did a bunch of shows that way. And then I also taught uh, dance and children's theater. So that kept me with my entertainment background and enjoying entertainment. But there was still something missing. I wanted to provide for the family. I wanted to 
um, support. I wanted to offer something other than my services as a fabulous mom is like a, what I like to say. <laughs> um, and I thought, well, hmm, what do I know to do? I know how to entertain and um, I know travel very well. So I decided that I was going to become a Disney travel agent. Well, I didn't know what the heck a Disney travel agent was. And so I found a travel agency that was hiring and um, she's still a really, really good friend of mine. And she hired me. I was like one of probably her first couple that she's hired. She's now a very large travel agency. Um, and almost upon joining, I was like, I'm probably not going to stay long because I really wanted to start my own. I didn't actually want to join a travel agency. I wanted to actually start my own. Um, but unfortunately, I could not find the means to figure out how to do it. With all the Google searching, I still couldn't figure it out back in the day. So um, I figured this was the best way to join, learn the ropes, and then figure out from there, you know, how to start your own. So she knew very, very quickly from the beginning that I probably wasn't going to stay around. Um, every year we'd have a whole conversation about me staying, and every year she convinced me to stay again. And uh, finally I'd said, that's it. It's enough. I'm leaving. I love you. <laughs> I'm leaving. So uh, once I did, I did open up my own travel agency, which is Thus Fabulous Adventures Travel. Fabulous Adventures Travel was born. And um, I I haven't looked back since. So that started uh, my travel agent career. So Disney, actually, my love for Disney and the fact that I performed there and worked for them um, started the fact that I was like, well, maybe I should become a travel agent. That would be amazing and super fun. And that's kind of how I started in the business. And so I basically sold Disney uh, Travel and Universal for a while and loved every second of it. And then when we opened or when I opened the agency, one of the things that I said was I didn't want to name it a Disney-specific name because I wanted to be open to other travel. I didn't want someone to come to me and be like, oh, I didn't realize that you sold Virgin Voyages. I thought you only sold Disney based on the name. So I made sure that the name was not uh, Disney-friendly, although Disney was our bread and butter for the longest time. We sold a ton of Disney. But um, then Virgin came onto the scene. I know I talked about this a little bit in the, in the first podcast, uh, my first meeting of Virgin was actually at a conference where they had a sign that said, um, oh gosh, I probably shouldn't tell you what the sign said, but it was very cheeky <laughs> and very Virgin. And I knew immediately that I was going to love every second of it. So, um, ever since then, I really just dove headfirst into, uh, Virgin Voyages and made sure that I learned everything and, uh, did the best that I could to sell it. So that's how uh, I started in the travel agency and the travel business. And that's how I kind of got involved with Virgin. Um, one of the things that has made the agency so success successful with Virgin, of course, and I mention this almost every podcast, is our Facebook group, um, Virgin Voyages, Cruise Tips and Deals. Uh, we have a very, very large uh, number of people in that group, and everyone that's in there, I can't thank you guys enough for booking with the agency because uh, we really appreciate you and we appreciate your business. So, And we love, love um, helping you um, because I'm super, super passionate about Virgin. That's obvious, I think. Um, but anyway, so that's a little bit about me. Um, I still sing a little bit. I would love to be on stage a lot more, but there is absolutely no time for it. So every now and then I'll throw in a little bit of singing. Um, I do like to go to the groupie every now and then at um, or on board and Virgin and sing a little bit. Um, but I don't really do karaoke um, in front of people. I'm not a huge karaoke fan because the music's never the same. I'm always petrified I'm going to sing the wrong note. I have to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. So yeah, there's no karaoke for me. I might have to have a lot of alcohol for that. Probably a lot of alcohol. <laughs> so I'll stick to the groupie with my friends. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, the agency, um, like I said, is six years old. We have uh, about 30-ish agents. I'm going to say that. I won't say the exact number that work for the agency. Everyone is scattered about and we don't charge a fee. So one of the things that people think and I should say is the biggest myth about uh, working with a travel agent is that we charge a fee. Now, there are some agencies that do and I don't 
they want to charge a fee. I'm not going to say anything about it. You have at it. You charge your fee. We just don't here at Fabulous Adventures. I do tell the team that it's up to them if they want to charge a fee. And sometimes we do if we're planning something, if we're planning like a Disney trip and someone's booked everything um, already, we will charge a fee because it's a lot of work to do some planning for Disney because booking, dining, and all that stuff takes a lot of time. Um, but we don't charge a fee. So that's the cool part. So if you come to us for booking Virgin Voyages, we don't charge anything extra. Our price is exactly the same as booking direct. Exactly the same. So if you're seeing a different price than what one of my agents has sent you or what I've sent you, it's because we're not comparing the same thing. You could have grabbed a central sea terrace and I've grabbed a sea terrace or vice versa. Or you didn't put the the um, cabin in the cart and see what the, the full price is because those are the reasons why you would see a different price. But majority of the time, I shouldn't say majority, all of the time, the price is exactly the same, except for um, our price is better when we're using the onboard booking offer that we always have because I'm always on board. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's the cool thing about working with a travel agent and one of the biggest myths, we do not charge anything extra and it doesn't change anything for you. That's another question that I get asked a lot. Does it change my experience if I work with you? Meaning like, can they still book dining on their own? Can they still book shore things on their own? Yes, 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 yes. You still can do whatever you want with your reservation. The only thing is, is that sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, sailor service won't, sailor services won't speak to you because it is under a travel agency. But I do feel like Virgin is much better with that so that if you do call in, they, um, will speak to you. There's other suppliers that will say, no, we're not going to speak to you. We have to speak to the travel agent. Um, so know that Virgin is better with that and that you still can make payments on your own via, um, your online account. You can, um, trying to think what else people ask me. You can't do, you can't move any dates or anything. We'll do that for you. But that's the benefit of using, using a travel agent is to, um, have us do that for you. So you just, shoot in an email or give me a phone call or send a text message and we do that for you um and sometimes I'm super quick that like my clients will be like can you move my room and I'm like sure I'm right here done and they're like, wow that was quick because it's you know I was right there and then sometimes it'll take a little bit just because we have things going on or whatnot um but the nice part about the beauty of it is that you send in the email and it's done. It's a done deal. So um, you don't have to sit on the phone. You don't have to wait for sailor services to answer. You don't have to talk to somebody that doesn't have a clue who you are um, or maybe that uh, is a little clueless sometimes. Um, you're talking to somebody who has massive expertise in this and um, knows a lot about it and has sold. In, and I'm going to toot my own horn here for a little bit. And it's in the top 10 sales for Virgin Voyages in North America. Um, although I think we said last week the world, uh, but I don't know that that's true. Um, but I will say that definitely the top 10 sales in North America. So, um, and I'm not just top 10. I might be really far up there. So um, that's just me guessing. I don't know much more than that. Um, but yeah, so know that I know a lot about it and my team does as well. But so that's that those are kind of the myths that I think uh, working with a travel agent is people worry about money, you know, if it's extra, if it costs them extra. They also wonder how we get paid. I'm going to be completely honest with you because I'll tell my clients this. We get paid on commission. So any commission anytime you book with us, we get paid a commission on that sale. Um I'm not an upseller. I'm going to be completely honest with you in that as well. I am probably the worst. I'll be like, oh, you don't need that. That's you, you don't need that. Because I would want someone to do that for me. If I went to go buy something, I would want someone to say to me, you don't need that. Save your money on that and go spend it on something else. And so I do that for my clients. So know that when you come to me, I'm not trying to sell you the mega suite unless you want the mega suite. Then I'm selling you the mega suite because I love it. Uh, or the massive suite and mega rock star, I should say. Um, because I love it and I want everyone to experience it because it's so much fun and it's my favorite way to travel. But I'm not going to try and push you into that if that is not your thing because of the fact that I wouldn't want someone to do that to me. So I 100% operate on how I would want to be treated, not how um, majority, I shouldn't say majority, that would be terrible. What you would think salesmen would be like or saleswomen. So while we work on commission, I don't operate that way. So, um, but no, that's how we get paid. So when you're like, what's the deal? What's the caveat? How do you get paid? that's how we get paid. So you don't ever have to think to yourself that this is not true. There has to be a caveat. There has to be, you know, the price has to be higher because blah, 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 blah. It's not, it's a hundred percent the same. So 
Um, I've got lots of clients to tell you that, but that's the truth. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much the the myths. I'm trying to think if I missed any myths. Uh, Gelman's telling me one. Oh, yes. If something goes wrong, obviously, um, I mean, we have some massive examples of that. You know, COVID, for example, I spent like months cleaning up for my clients and canceling things and all that stuff. So I did, the agency did live through COVID, which was um, not fun and not cool at all. Let's just say that. But, uh, you know, we were there for our clients, as was every other travel agency, I'm sure. Um, that when something goes wrong, if you're stuck somewhere, if you have an issue somewhere, you, we are your person that you call and that we will 100% get up and help you. Um, I will get out of bed for you if you are stuck somewhere. If you hurt yourself, if you you know, had something terrible happen, I will get out of bed for you, um, which doesn't happen for a lot of things, by the way. <laughs> Only my clients. <laughs> um, but uh, that's... That's the best way to explain it, that we are there for you. And that's a cool part that you have someone here. I actually had a client um, here at Disney and she got really sick. And I can't remember. I think I ended up delivering. I delivered um, some medicine to her because I don't live too far from Disney. So I delivered medicine to her because I was like, oh, my gosh, if I was here all by myself and I couldn't get out and couldn't get medicine. This was, you know, it was years ago. So it was before, you know, Uber got, you know, massive with COVID of course or like all the deliveries got massive because of COVID so it's pre-COVID um I would want someone to do that for me so I went and delivered medicine for her so these are the things that we do as travel agents um to help our clients uh so that's the nice part about having a travel agent as well is that we're here for you um this whole thing with the brilliant not coming through I mean it threw us for a massive loop again um it set me back probably weeks because I had so many clients that were affected by it and I'm still working through it, but a lot less than before. So I still have a few clients that still need to be worked through and we're still making changes on things. But I made sure that I really, really helped everyone as best as I possibly can, as best as I humanly possibly could, because obviously, you know, <laughs> I'm not a machine. So, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so that's kind of how, uh, it works to, it, it is to work with a travel agent. Um, I always say working with a TA um, is not for everyone. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know that prior to me doing this that I would have worked with a TA, and that's me being, again, completely honest, only because I am that type of person. There is that type A personality that does not want someone to do it for them, and I completely get that. So the nice part about Virgin is that if you want to work with us to get the extra deals that we have, but you still have want your hands on it, you can. So that's still an option, and that's something that you can do with um, with working with a TA. But I do say this all the time, that not everyone will work with a TA. The other thing, too, is that you want to find someone that you relate to because you're going to be talking to this person a lot sometimes. It depends on what kind of trip it is. Like Virgin, I tend to like book it. We have a conversation. We're chatting with each other. You know, we're getting to know each other. I know about, you know, your life. You know about mine at this point. And then all of a sudden we don't hear from each other forever. And then you go on the cruise, which is great. And then hopefully I'll hear back about how great it is. And I see that placeholder pop through that says, yeah, you did love it. And you booked a placeholder on board. So um, I love that. But uh, make sure that you gel with that person and that you really, 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 really uh, like them because you will be chatting with them a lot. So it does, it's the same thing as I always tell uh, my agents who I hire, make sure that you like the owner and that you like the, the culture of the agency and you like what they stand for and what they're going for because you have to work with them. It's the same thing as a travel agent. So find someone that you like whether it be me or somebody else, find someone that you like and that you gel with because that's the cool part. I love, cl clearly, I should start with this, clearly I love talking to people. So um, I always say this, I can talk to a wall. Uh, so I always love to chat with my clients. So, um, you know, I'm always happy to have a conversation and learn a little bit about them and uh, have us chat about Virgin. I love chatting about Virgin. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and I love talking about my experience. Clearly, that's clear. Um, but, yeah, so that's probably pretty much my um, tips for working with a travel agent. But the biggest myth, like I said, is we don't charge anything. So, um, well, 
my agency doesn't. Some agencies do. So, and not to knock them. Again, I don't want to say that. But the cool part about our agency, and I do want to say this, that if you are thinking about booking with us, um, we are one of the top agencies. We're probably, I like to say it, although I've never won the award, um, I keep telling them that I want this award, uh, the, t- the top smallest agency. Um, I don't even know if that award exists, but I want it. I do have a top uh, 10 award that's a little... Um, octopus it's red and it's super cute and it sits in my office so I'd like the top smallest agency not that I even know that I actually am that but I'm saying that if I am close enough that I think that should exist and I want that award (laughs) but anyways um they since we work so hard with them or work so much with them and sell so much uh they offer us um an extra hundred dollars in Sarah loot to give our clients and um which is a nice benefit for you. So it's C Terrace and up gets an extra hundred dollars in Sierra loot. So that is combinable with the MNVV and which is the onboard booking offer. And you can also get it for just a regular, um, booking that's not MNVV and it's for C Terrace and higher. So that includes rockstar and all that stuff. Um, the other thing that we, like I mentioned earlier that we're always on board. So we're always getting our clients the onboard booking offer, um, which is an amazing offer. It's $300 off and $600 Sarah loot, but for working with us, you get $700 in Sarah loot and, uh, $300 off your voyage fare. So it's, it's the best at sea. Like I said, I think it's amazing. Um, and, uh, Honestly, I, I don't know why you wouldn't work with a travel agent because we have the best deals, but I completely understand it. So let's just say that. Um, so yeah, that is what I, I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm missing. Galman, am I missing anything? He's telling me no. He's telling me that I hit it all. So um, we would love to work with you. Again, uh, just contact the agency. Um, we are fabulous adventures travel company. My, um, website has a link for a quote form and it's www.fabulousadventurestravel.com. Um, and we also, like I said, uh, you can follow me on Facebook, which is Samantha, uh, dash fabulous adventures travel. And you can contact me there as well, or you can go to the group, which is Virgin Voyages, Cruise Tips and Deals. So I just wanted to say a couple things about me and have you guys get to know me a little bit better just because I feel like here I am up here just chatting about Virgin constantly and uh, no one knows anything, not too much about me, but now you do. So yay. So hopefully uh, we get to work together soon and um, that would be super awesome and we'll see you on board, which by the way, I leave tomorrow and I'm super excited about it. Or maybe today when you see this. I don't even know when you'll see it. But I leave on the 13th of October. (laughs) So uh, we're going to do the Halloween sailing, uh, which I'm really excited about. So, All right. Well, I'll leave you with my favorite saying, um, you float our boat. And thank you so much again for joining. And that saying, actually, I say this every time, but if it's your first one watching, um, it's because uh, my clients and everyone that uh, support us really do float our boat. We wouldn't be here without you. So thank you. We appreciate it.